Rephrase script with the word order slightly changed while keeping the same tone and style. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates and leaks about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. We have three major updates for you today, and one of them reveals that the display and camera on the S25 Ultra are set to reach new heights of excellence. What's up guys, Sal here, so let's dive right into the most interesting part first. According to Ice Universe, the Galaxy S25 will feature design and feature updates inspired by the Galaxy XR. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Galaxy XR is Samsung's response to Apple's Vision Pro, a mixed reality headset. The Galaxy XR is expected to launch around the same time as the S25 Ultra, so it's only logical we'd see some overlap. We're looking at potential design similarities, smooth integration between the two devices, and possibly even shared features like Samsung continuity and Galaxy AI. It's really interesting that Samsung is pushing forward with the Galaxy XR, especially as Apple seems to be struggling to sell their Vision Pro. If Samsung can price this thing much lower, and I mean significantly lower than Apple's $3,500 price tag, they could get a lot more people interested. I'm personally not super excited about it just yet, but hey, maybe they'll change my mind if they make it compelling enough. Next up, in their latest earnings call, Samsung confirmed that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will feature top-tier upgrades for both its display and camera. Their press release emphasized that these upgrades would be the best Samsung has ever offered. We already know the S25 Ultra will come with new camera sensors, including a 50 megapiece upgrade for the 3X telephoto and ultra-wide cameras, plus an improved version of the 200 megapixel main sensor. But what exactly are these display upgrades they hinted at? That's the part that really caught my attention. Could it have something to do with the Galaxy XR? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Samsung also confirmed they're focusing on improving AI experiences in the S25 Ultra, planning to integrate AI into different aspects of the device to enhance communication between your other Samsung gadgets, like your fridge, oven, washing machine, and more for a more seamless smart ecosystem. Moving on to performance, we've got the Geekbench scores for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 powering the S25 Ultra, with a 2884 single-core score and 8840 for multi-core. This is a 35% increase in single-core performance and a 30% boost in multi-core compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. When compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the S25 Ultra's single-core score is pretty similar, but its multi-core score is about 22% higher. The S25 Ultra is expected to come with a custom version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, featuring higher clock speeds, so we could see the final multi-core scores surpass the 9000 mark. While we haven't seen Geekbench scores for the iPhone 16 Pro Max just yet, rumors suggest it won't have a huge CPU performance leap over the iPhone 15 Pro Max, giving the S25 Ultra a solid chance to match or even beat it in CPU performance. As for the GPU, the S24 Ultra already outperforms the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Lastly, here are three more updates about the S25 Ultra, including a big RAM upgrade, satellite connectivity, and improvements to design and battery capacity. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.